jury voted on challenging roles and more. Five reasons why Funka Akindele lost Best Actress at AMBCA. Nollywood superstar, Tesbian and filmmaker Funka Akindele recently lost out to her colleague Kende Bankole as the Best Actress in Nigeria. Funka Akindele was also on the list for the Best Actress at the AMBCA in 2023, along with Scarlett Gomez, Bimbo Ademoye and Nse Ikme Etim, but she lost as well. For two years in a row, she has fallen short at the final stage with seemingly less popular actresses beating her to the gong. However, in this video, we have decided to have a critical look as to why Fuka Akindele continues to get snubbed at the final hurdle as the AMBCA award eluded her again. Nollywood superstar Fuka Akindele is one of the biggest actresses and filmmakers ever to grace Nigerian movie industry. However, the one award that would help solidify her legacy continues to elude her after years of multiple nominations for record shattering movies. After losing to Sass Igo Daru in 2023, she lost again in 2024, this time to K in the Bankole's character in Nigeria. In this video, we have taken time to analyze three major reasons why AMBC continues to elude Funka Akindele. Number one is unchallenging roles. Yes, guys, unchallenging roles. There is no denying that fact that Funka Akindele is a fantastic filmmaker, director, and producer. But the question that begs for the an answer is whether she's an exceptional actress. One will go through different stratophase of emotions to achieve immortality. Over the last decade, Funka Akindele has to a large extent created a character that is almost naturally synonymous with who she is and ever since it has become a labor struggle a labor struggle for her to break free from that character mode be it jennifer or morgato battle on Booker streets or her movie a tribe called judah she channeled a particular personality or should i say character almost all the time but in different clubs Someone would say Funke played a singer in the series She, but the question is, did she play a different personality from what you know her for? The way she spoke and her general mannerism were all still the same. Mm. Same challenging roles over and over again. Number two, repeating almost the same storyline. Yes, repeating almost the same storyline. Are you a literature student? All right, let's go, guys. Another recurring feature in most of Funka Kindle's movies is her storyline, guys. Yes, her storylines. They almost all start with the same kick. Things build along the way. Someone needs help. A hero comes through, saves the day, and things present us with a big payday. Same storyline, one outlook on life and what it is thought to be, different from what it is. Mm. Number three is a jury voted, not just the audience. Another reason Funke Akindele lost out this year at the AMBCA was that the award ceremony didn't go down the route it told, it told last year. A group of experienced lesbians decided the winner with chase of experience in the bag, unlike in 2023, when Osas Igodaro won and it was based on popularity and having a huge fan base this year was different for this reason it was clear that breath of life is a better movie in all its ramifications than a tribe called judah even wale ojo's movie was not in contention funke still had to contend with rmd's black book and k in the bank fumi liar and some Kuti. wow yes this is what they call Criticism when it comes to literature or literary appreciation or any anyone you want to call it guys What do you have to say about all these things that has been pointed out? Why Funka Kindele keeps losing the best actress when it comes to AMVCA? Let me hear your opinion in the comment section. See you guys in my next video But before I go, I will not forget to appreciate you for always watching our videos. Ciao, ciao